today. Recognize when you are trying to get to the future. See when you are trying to hurry into the next moment. All you have to do is notice it. Then you have a choice about it. Do I want to keep hurrying into the future or do I want to just appreciate what I'm doing? One of the things you can do once you see you're hurrying is to just take a deep breath. A deep breath is here, it's alive, it's now. That's something you just can do like I just did any time. You can stop and take a deep breath. No matter who you are, no matter what your life is like, you have time to take a deep breath. You can gain a lot by focusing on the moment. And once you start realizing where you are hurrying, all you have to do is see one little point you're hurrying. And you will enter this world more than likely where you realize you are hurrying way more than you ever imagined you were. For me, I'll explain a little bit to you. I realized when it came to my drinking, I was hurrying to the next drink. Whenever I was sober, I was trying to push through my work, push through whatever I had to do so I could get to the next drink. Because once I had that first drink, I could relax. I could be in the moment. I could just appreciate life around me. Now, after I had several drinks, which with me, as soon as I have the first drink, is fairly unavoidable then all kinds of bad things would happen. And so then I would be hurrying to get back to that next first drink. And sometimes I would enjoy things like my wife and I would go to Disney and I would be there and peaceful and enjoy that day with her. And that's how I was able to break out of my cycle of addiction is that spending time with my wife helped show me enough of what I was doing wrong in my life that I was able to get help. A lot of people, if you don't have that positive presence in your life, it can be hard. So I'm hoping I can be a part of that positive pref with you. So again, I would hurry. And yet, while I might stay in the day with my wife at Disney, I sure went and hurried to get to Disney. I tried to blast through that drive. Let's get through this drive so we can get to Disney. And once we're there, Okay, we're at Disney. Oh, wait, what time's that ride? All right, we got to go go get on that ride. Once we get on that ride, okay, I can relax. Oh, this line's pretty long. Can we get to the end? Okay, now we're on the ride. Now I can relax. Okay, the ride's over. That's good. I can experience it. When's our next ride? Okay, let's go get to that. What are we going to do until then? Let's plan all that out. Oh, what we're going to eat? Okay, let's go eat. And then I'd be in a hurry to go eat. And then I'd sit down. And for a brief moment, I'd say, yes, all right, I'm here. Let's eat. And the food would come. I'd take that first bite. And then I'd be in a hurry to finish my food. Because all my life, I'd been in a hurry to finish my food. I'd learned as a kid that if I wanted more food, I had to eat fast, finish my food, and then I could get seconds before it was gone. And so sitting there with my wife at Disney, when there's obviously no hurry, I was in a hurry to finish my food. Come on, come on, son of a, get this, ah, all right, I'm done. And she's like, you know, a third of the way through her meal. And then I could relax a little. Okay, I ate all my food. We, okay, where's the bill now? Where's the bill? Gotta pay the bill. All right, the bill's been paid. Okay. All right, now I can relax. All right, what time's the next ride? All right, let's go get on that next ride and then go get dessert. All right, oh, let's gotta go, we got to go get some ice cream. Okay, let's go. All right, now we're having ice cream. I can relax. Okay, this is good. Okay, now we're done with the ice cream. All right, now let's. we got to get back home. We got to get back home. Well, let's go get in the car. Okay, let's go drive fast. I'm going to drive fast. All right, we're back home. Okay, that's good. Now I can relax for a minute. And then... Oh, all right. Now, now we need. Where it's time for bed. Let's go to bed. Let me brush my teeth and floss and do my listerine. Okay. Now I'm in bed. All right. Now I gotta fall asleep. Come on, come on. 
Come on, I don't want to lay here in bed. Let's go. I got to get to sleep. I got to get to sleep. Don't, I got to get up tomorrow morning. I got to fall asleep. Come on. Come on. All right, what am I going to do tomorrow? Maybe I can use this time productively. Uh, oh, I'm still not asleep. So then I'd go to sleep, and I could be at peace, and I could relax a moment. And then I'd wake up the next day. Okay, I got work to do. I got work to do. I gotta, I'm going to drink later. All right, all right, let's get this work done, and then I can drink. And I get the work done. All right, now I can drink. Ah, let's have that first drink. Life is good. Life is peaceful. All right, so I'm playing this video game now. I'm on level two. All right, I need to get to level 60 on this video game. All right, let me, all right, I already down that drink. All right, I need to go get another drink. All right, now I'm on level five. Come on, I need to get to level 60. That's my record. Then I can feel really good. You know, and like eight drinks later, I get to level 58. All oh, this sucks, and I lose on it. This sucks, this sucks. I'm gonna try it again. So now I'm not playing nearly as good. All right, all right, now I'm on level two. All right, I gotta get to level 60. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, shit. Uh, and get to level 60. All right, I'm at level 60. Yeah, everything's good. Now I gotta get 61. 61, yeah, level 61. Everything's good. I gotta get 62. Ah, oh, 62, everything's good. And I'm on level 70 soon enough. Ah, oh, level 70, I gotta get 71. Ah, 70, oh, yes, I got the 71. And then I go down. Oh, what now? Now it's 2 a.m. Now I'm wasted. And now I've did everything I wanna do. Well, this is boring. Maybe, maybe I can gamble online. Yeah, that'll be fun. All right, I'm gambling online. Uh, and then the next morning, oh God, I gambled online. I got drunk again. Now I just want to get through this. I just want to, and then finally a little moment. Oh, maybe I'm doing this all wrong. Maybe I need help. If you can notice where you're hurrying in your life, notice it now. You can experience a miracle. I've just shared with you how I was able to notice I was always running somewhere. I shared with you what my life used to be like. 95% hurrying, 5% stopping to enjoy where I was. And I thought that's why my life was miserable. I thought that all the things in my life, if I could just have 100% of time that I could enjoy, everything would be perfect. The problem I didn't notice was that I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to go to Disney with my wife to enjoy life. I didn't have to drink and play video games to enjoy life. All I had to do is simply stop trying to get somewhere in the future and I could enjoy life right now. And it took me having to be very sick and suffer a lot in order to see that. I'm explaining it to you so that you have the choice today to stop running to the future. And you can make that choice now to be happy with whatever you are doing right this moment, which probably is watching this and may or may not include a few other things. To be happy with exactly what you're doing right now and not need to go anywhere else to be happy. To accept that now is just fine, just the way it is. And that the only way you can suffer is to say it's not. So today, you have the chance to notice where you are hurrying in your life. Notice where you're trying to run and grab for a future. Notice where you're trying to grab a hold of something that's not real. And where you're consistently frustrated that it seems like you can only grab the future for a brief second before it slips into now. Before suddenly you've got that carrot you were chasing after and now you need another one. You've got that girlfriend or boyfriend. You've got that job. You've got that reputation. You've got that prestige. You've got that place to live. You've got that car, that boat. And you can only have that for the briefest second before it becomes now. And now, what else? So when you can see that you're asking what else, when you can see 
that you're trying to run into the future at the expense of now, you can experience a miracle today just by slowing down. Just by being here with yourself, present, and accepting that now is just fine and that you don't ever have to go anywhere or do anything to arrive in your life. The only time you can ever arrive in your life is right now. You can never arrive there in the future. So I hope today you have the chance to even get a little glimpse of this in your life. Today, look for one moment where you are trying to hurry or get to the future where you're trying to push through now into some place that's better. Once you see that, you will unlock a miracle in your life. Your inner genius will burst out of you. And the cool thing is, you don't have to do it in the future. You can do it right now. As this lecture is ending, you might see, ah, oh, I'm in a hurry for him to stop talking so that I can feel like I've watched all of this and feel like I'm done with it. You might be able to see right now you're in a hurry for this to be over. <laughs> and so now, it is over. <laughs>